hi everyone uh, you welcome back to my channel uh, my name is uh, Tatan and today we'll continue with uh, looking at uh, <coughs> more past questions for chapter 1 so we've been able to go through chapter 1 to 10 of the IGCSE ICT I'm trying to focus just on the theory aspect because I found like that's an area a lot of people have challenges with and um, this video is as per the comments and i've been reading so somebody said uh, you know some people said they would like uh, for me to go through uh, the remaining questions in the at the ending of the chapters and then more past exam questions so that's what you have we have in this video so the first question is nine statements about random access memory and read only memory are given below so this is a very simple type of a question you should admit miss marks in this kind of question so this question is from the the end of uh, chapter one from the igcsc uh, a textbook by Graham Brown and uh, David Watson. So the first question says data on a chip is stored permanently and cannot be deleted. So does this statement refer to RAM or ROM? So RAM, first of all, you should know that RAM is volatile memory, meaning whenever you store data on it, once the computer goes off, the data is lost. So it's like temporal storage, while ROM is permanent storage. So once you see permanent storage, you know it's ROM. And then they say it is not possible to alter or delete the data stored on the chip. So even the ROM, you cannot alter its data. So uh, data on the chip is stored temporarily and can be deleted by the user. So that is the RAM. So you write to the RAM uh, temp on temporary basis and the data can always be lost. And then uh, data is retained even when the computer is powered down. I just said this uh, before. So this goes for ROM because whenever you turn off your computer, the ROM still has its own information. It can kind of holds the boot instructions for your computer. So uh, you cannot alter it. It is not lost when the computer uh, turns off. Stores data files or part of the operating system which is currently in use. That's the ROM. The RAM, sorry. The RAM stores, uh, you know, temporal files or data files. Data is lost when the power to the computer is turned off. RAM. It contains the basic input output system. That should be the ROM, which is like some part of the boot up of the computer. It is form of volatile memory. RAM. Volatile means it's like uh, it's not permanent so when they say something is volatile means it's not permanent so uh, RAM is the volatile memory and non-volatile is ROM meaning it's permanent now for the next question um, see from the test book so describe what is meant by augmented reality and a virtual reality so um, here uh, the question says four marks so once you see four marks it means uh, you should give uh, up to four points to gain all the four marks and now you're differentiating between augmented reality and virtual reality so it means you should give at least two points for augmented reality and two points for virtual reality in some cases if you give three points here and one here you might get all the marks so but it's usually good to give two two points for each of the points and always remember when they say describe it doesn't mean you should go and start writing a paragraph no you give short um, you give short um short sentences that give a description so you can start with the first uh, sentence give part of the description in the next sentence you try to give more deeper explanation so that's the trick to explaining these things so for augmented reality it adds digital elements to a live view of the real world so it's kind of more real compared to virtual, virtual uh, reality and then for augmented reality it uses devices like smartphones or special glasses and uh, when we go to uh, examples are uh, Pokemon. I don't know if you ever played that game. Furniture placement apps and all those kind of things. And then virtual reality, um, we have created a completely artificial, uh, artificial computer generated environment. So this virtual reality goggles people wear around. It's a very common thing now. Typical use as headsets that covers the eyes and ears. So that's what I'm just talking about. So. Many many people use virtual reality now for gaming, virtual tours, like you can tour a location without actually going there. Now they say describe how augmented reality and virtual reality could affect society in the near future. So these are things we need to think about. How will virtual reality, how will augmented reality affect the society in the future? Now you can already see people are like segregated from one another, but 
let's look at a good part of it education wise immersive learning experiences and virtual field trips so people are going to be maybe more immersed in their learning depending on who you're talking about so those are possibilities healthcare you can have more enhanced surgical precision and virtual therapy sessions so these are also good uh, uh, aspects of it in terms of entertainment you can have more engaging gaming and interactive media experiences uh, uh, <coughs> when uh, with the help of this kind of uh, virtual reality or augmented reality for workplace you can have remote collaborations in virtual offices and augmented reality assistant maintenance so assisted maintenance so these are things uh, you should think about a good aspect retail virtual uh, trials and uh, augmented reality product visualization in homes so these are possibilities these are things that are actually happening in a lot of countries. Tourism, virtual travel experiences and augmented reality, enhanced real world exploration. So those are different things that uh, are possible. Now the next thing is six descriptions are shown on the left and six computer terms are shown on the right. Draw lines to link each element to the correct computer term. Whenever you find a question like this, start with the ones you know. That's the best way because these questions are very easy, but you might fail them because you miss, made a mistake in one so it messes up everything do the ones you're very sure of once you do that you can uh, you know that's moving from what you know to what you don't know so that way it's easier for you to score all the marks so the first one is methods whereby a person uses their voice to carry out a function so or you know what an output device is for you look for it physical components or as monitor yes uh, that's an output device analog now Continuous data. That's what I'm looking for. So physical data that changes smoothly and is not stepwise good So it's continuous. So that's my analog now computer aided design uh, Computer aided design software used to help in creation manipulation modification analysis of drawing. Yes, so computer aided design So the computer aids you in designing so it's software you use to what help in creation uh, dialogue based interface so method where by a person uses their voice to carry out the function yes dialogue when you're having a dialogue you're talking you're discussing with somebody and then input device you should know that applet you should know that so once you figure out this the remaining answer so try to figure out what you know best and then you work from there so for this i've exhausted that exhausted uh, all the questions at the ending of the chapter if you've missed out on any of them you should watch my video for uh, the tutorial video on chapter covering the whole of chapter one i should have uh, covered those questions in them and um, now let's look at some recent exam questions like the february march 2023 uh, they say explain what is meant by so these are chapter one specific questions i'm trying to target just chapter specific questions so explain what is meant by the term software simple question when they say explain use point the question says one mark so if you give one good point you get your complete mark so programs used to control the operation of a computer perfect softwares are programs and then use for processing electronic data it's also a good point now state the two types of software used by computer this is just a giveaway question system software application software so you're good to go and for question two does it take the device which produces hard copy i mean you think about it when you're dealing with computers what can give you hard copy definitely a printer so you shouldn't be think nothing else should pop up in your mind printer so this question is from uh, february march 2023 paper one two uh, you can look at the other paper ones i'm just picking questions around uh, not necessarily everything but this is just uh, like a guide to show you exactly how you should answer questions and you know i can't cover exactly uh, all the questions uh, now this one is from st 2023 the same paper some computers have touch screens describe three benefits of using a touch screen uh, possible answers easy and quick to select options allow the user to use zoom and pinch making items so if you're using a touch screen you can zoom look at like uh, what i'm doing now uh yes yeah, so you can do that you can zoom you can pinch on something like you can zoom in on something so those are possibilities that uh, a touch screen allows you to have and then um improve hand eye coordination so with the touch screen you can move things around and that way uh your eyes move accordingly compare ram and rom so we've seen that, that 
question from before the first i think one of the first questions uh, we looked at it was comparing ram and rom so if you remember that you can just pick points from there and apply them here and it works perfectly well so when they say if you compare you should know that you have to give uh, differences and similarities so if i tell you to compare between two people you are giving their differences and their similarity this one is tall this one is uh, short or this one is taller than that one this one is dark this one is fair those kind of comparisons and then similarities both are primary storage yes both internal memory yeah both are internal memory data can be read from both ram and rom yes differences ram is volatile why rom is what is not now rom can only be read from you cannot write to the rom so that's also a very uh, big difference and then ram is temporal memory why rom is what permanent so these are a very good point it's four marks so you can give two here and two here and you should be able to get all your marks now this is like a practical ap uh, application where this is like these are the most important questions like these are the best questions i like for ict they give you real life practical applications of uh, ict so the question says a school car park is controlled by a barrier where when when teachers enter the car park their number plate is red and the barrier is raised automatically now the question says um visitors can use the keypad as an input device to enter a code which allows the barrier to be raised identify three other input devices shown in the figure so this is a figure a pressure sensor is it an input device M moto is it an input device speaker is it an input device keypad is it an input device microphone camera now input device you can decide pressure sensor it is when this car steps on this thing on this pressure sensor uh, uh, something happens maybe it can enable opening of the uh, bar or something but that's an input device speaker output device keypad input microphone input camera input so you have a number of input devices there to pick from so it's a very practical question and very nice question and then uh, now we look at a uh, question from 2024 uh, that's february march session uh, the first one says a computer system points of both hardware and software give you a question again you explain what the following types of software provide in the computer system application so what is an application software it allows the user to what perform specific tasks is that okay application software like you have an application for computer idea design it allows you to what do design you have an application like excel what does it give you it helps you what to do calculations so system software controls the hardware and software of the computer so enables what running of other software and so when you talk about systems of those are programs that are kind of uh, controls how the computer system actually performs it actually give, gives an enabling environment for like the application software so like your operating system is a system software it gives an enabling environment for application software like uh, microsoft office uh, uh, um, adobe illustrator photoshop and all those things now there's a give two examples of each type of software application you have applet you have word processing software spreadsheet you have uh, computer area design software and all those things then system software the first one is operating system device drivers compilers linkers and all those things so this should uh, be uh, your thinking direction and then um, the next question says uh, there are two type, two forms of data uh, analog and digital contrast analog and digital data so for analog when they say con con contrast you mean you should give what differences between the two so you can just write analog and you write digital you give points between them so for analog it is continuous like i said so it doesn't have stepwise so analog is like a sine wave it is a form of a wave like i've written here it has low bandwidth uh needs to be converted before processing by a computer and then when we talk about digital digital is uh discrete meaning it varies in steps so it's like in terms of ones and zeros that's another point um then Uh, another thing about digital is it um, it has a high bandwidth.
and then um, the next question still from 2024 say computers contain a central processing unit describe the role the role of the cpu in processing instructions to produce a compute an output so how what typically uh, basically what i'm asking you is how does a cpu work from processing to produce output first it controls input and output operations next controls the movement of data within the computer system so cpu is like the brain of the computer just think about your brain what does your brain do, f do to you what does your brain do uh, in your uh, for you as a human being so this is why i always say these questions are things you can relate to yourself you can relate to life if you think in that direction you will never lack an answer you will never lack an explanation to a question and now they say decodes the instructions executes the instructions from hardware and software operations and then the next one you can say uh, makes logical discussions through the arithmetic and logic unit so we want to do things like logical operations that's why the computer can do a lot of complex calculations and uh, this is because of the arithmetic and logic unit the control unit is what is used to control input and output operation control the movement of data within the computer so the cpu as we all know has the control unit and the alu so those are the main parts of the cpu that carry out uh, all of this the alu also carries out calculations so take note of this you need just four points to get all your marks a doctor uses to get a gesture based uh, user interface state to other types of user interfaces possible answers command line interface graphical user interface dialog based user interface and i mean whatever one you can think of um c 2024 question this is the two other uses of augmented reality say augmented reality can be used with a global positioning system that's gps device everybody uses it. gps somehow once you have a smartphone there's gps in it and so this is the two other uses of augmented reality people use it for gaming healthcare like we said augmented reality glasses immersive learning people can use that for learning describe the difference between uh augmented reality and virtual reality we've looked at this question in the exam style question so you should be able to answer this so please that is the end uh, of this chapter maybe in the future i'll do more video uh, questions uh, answer more questions on this chapter and um, uh, feel free to comment like and uh, subscribe see you in the next video bye bye